morning and happy Monday. So this morning, it's already about 10.30. I've been just getting myself ready. Um, I really need to wash my hair, but I've got that situation again where Ian is in the office today. Normally he goes on a Tuesday, but he's in the office on Monday today and I'm expecting a parcel. So I know that if I get in the shower, the door will go and I'll miss it. So I figure I'll just do it later. So yeah. Dirty hair, never mind. Update on my healthy eating for Florida. It's actually been going really good. I still do have the occasional treat. We had some pizza last night, which is obviously really bad. It's one of the worst types of takeaway you can have. But we do still, like once a week or something, have it. I'm not on one of these diets where, you know, I'm just saying no to everything. And I actually only eat half of it because I'm finding I can't eat as much. And that always happens when I cut back. And uh, this morning I did have what I call my bad breakfast, which is cereal. But I like cereal like um, Wheatos and Cocoa Pops and Golden Grahams and stuff like that. All the like worst cereal. So I did have some Golden Grahams this morning. Uh, but normally I have my really good uh, quark yogurt, um, which is really healthy and maybe with some like fruit or nuts or something. So this morning I did have that bit naughty and I'm gonna go swimming twice this week I'm determined to get back to my swimming at one stage I was going two to three times a week and then I went to Florida in November and it just went out the window from there because as you know I was away so much all the way through till January we went to Cape Verde then I went to Disneyland Paris and I've just got totally out of the habit so I want to get back into doing that so I'm going to get my planner in a minute and just look at the schedule because with the pool that I go to there is a lot of school like private bookings and aquafit and stuff like that so I just have to figure out exactly which days and when I can go and everything so I'm going to do that now and then finish editing the weekly vlog which you will have already seen so last week's weekly vlog and I'm really ahead on editing my Disney vlogs which is good because that's always an aim of mine is to not be rushing to do those at the last minute and it, there's been such an amazing response to my first Disneyland Paris vlog it's just crazy like it's had so many views already so that's amazing and we got to 18,000 subscribers like I mentioned in last week's weekly vlog so it's just great and everybody is so nice and I've been having really really good comments and everything like that last week when I was a bit not down but feeling a bit weird I did have a few bad comments I don't think I mentioned it in last week's weekly vlog uh, but I did have a little spate of them and I think I've mentioned this before I generally for the size of my channel don't get many hate comments or nasty comments I get the odd one or like just stupid things that people say which is fine and I don't even take horrible comments to heart normally but if I do get them I tend to get like two or three within a few days I don't know why it goes like that it's not the same person at least I don't think it is but yeah and they're they're personal which I don't like if somebody says something about my content like oh this video was rubbish I hate it it this is stupid or whatever um that's fine that's people's opinion but when it's personal like aimed at you that's a little bit harder to take and if you get a few of them in one go that's pretty horrible so i didn't really like that last week maybe that contributed to feeling a bit you know not great for a couple of days i don't know but generally i do just brush it off it's just people being weird i don't know why people do it uh, but anyway it's fine so I think I'm going to get my planner out make sure everything is sorted for the week and then get on with this editing oh and I did just get a boohoo parcel delivered they just brought it and this is a very random thing to buy at this time of year but boohoo were having a sale and they had this jumper Merry Christmas and it's got this sequiny mousse on with bells and stuff and it was only six pounds in the sale they only had one left in my size so although it's completely the wrong time of year I thought this would be good to get it now because Christmas jumpers can be quite pricey especially ones with like you know lots of sequins and sparkles so that was a total bargain so I had to pick that up and I can really annoy everybody on Christmas day with my little bells so I just thought that was really cute and it's quite thin with Christmas jumpers I always find in the winter obviously you have your heating on and I get so overheated on Christmas day this one although it is a jumper it's very very kind of thin which is great because that would be perfect for me so yeah I'm really pleased with this and I do have a code for you to get 30% off I think it is with your first order with Boohoo so I think you have to have never ordered before I 
order stuff from them all the time as you know i absolutely love it they do so many different things they have petite ranges tall plus size it's just amazing and the prices are really good and it's where i get a lot of my stuff from that i wear in florida so i will leave that code below it is a recommendation code so just for full disclosure i think i do get something as well if you sign up but i'm pretty sure it's 30 percent off that you get which is not bad oh, right it is now about 3 p.m i've just placed you in the cupboard because i'm making a cup of tea and i'm just exporting the weekly vlog so that'll be going up in a couple of hours and i've been watching while i do it because you know i was saying I like to have background noise the madeline mccann documentary that's come on to netflix um it must be recent because i've never seen it before and i do watch loads of crime stuff mostly like documentaries and true kind of stories sometimes i watch like dramas and things because i do find them fascinating um but they do get a bit depressing i will say sometimes if i've watched anything for too long or i've watched several things that are like that it yeah it just gets a bit depressing it is an extremely long documentary it's like episodes and episodes really really in depth um but I'm finding I can just watch a bit of it at a time because, you know, it is a really tragic case and quite depressing. So now I am watching uh, Catnip, Catherine's channel. I've just put that on because that is much cheerier. And I'm actually just watching the episode where the washi tape that she has created has just turned up and I bought some of that yesterday. So I'm excited for that to come through. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for crime TV shows or dramas or real life things because I love stuff like that. Oh, and I just remembered while I was editing the weekly vlog that I didn't show you the stuff I got from Primark. And now I think about it, I don't think I got that much stuff so it probably won't take me very long to do that but I will go and grab it in a second and show you what I got. So it turns out I did not get that much stuff. This is just, um, I showed you the bag last week and this is my Al's Toy Barn t-shirt which I'm going to wear with that in Disney World which is super cute. This is from Shop Disney UK. Then from Primark all I got was a packet of these cotton pads. These are the, like the big oval ones and they are 90 pence for this entire huge packet and they're amazing. Then the bag, I kind of showed it to you in last week's weekly vlog but I didn't show you the top so it's got like two, um, there's nothing going on in the middle, it's just like two sections but you can actually get a decent amount in there and I do wear a lot of red and things that this would go with and this was £8 which is so crazy cheap. I blimmin love Primark. And and then I got this little pyjama set, which I'm absolutely in love with. It's navy with this pattern. It's got a little bit of lace. It's like a vest type one. And then the shorts. And the set was just £7, which I just can't believe. It feels really nice quality compared to some of the stuff you can sometimes get. Like some of the jersey, I find, like the kind of t-shirt type tops don't wash that well. But this just feels really nice. And I can't believe it was only £7. I wanted one that was shorts and like a vest for when I go to Florida in may because it will be quite hot i often wear um sort of longer pajamas but i went for this set and i just love it i love navy love the pattern love 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 it and in super drug i just picked up this little set i don't know if i've mentioned it before but this malibu lotion the smell just reminds me of my childhood when we used to go away in the summer to cornwall for a week and the smell of this sunscreen is exactly what we used to use i don't know exactly what we used to use but whatever it is i don't think it was this brand this smells just like it and I spotted they had this little set that's got the after sun the 20 and the 15 and they're really good size bottles because they're not tiny but they're not huge what size actually are they oh they are 100 mil so you could actually take these if you had cabin baggage only so that's actually really good but yeah this brand I just love the scent and this was only 4.99 which was such a good deal and I also just wanted to show you this. This was very kindly sent to me by Chic Little Heroes. I love their packaging. This is so nice. If you were buying anything for a gift for somebody, it comes in this beautiful box, which I'm opening upside down. And they were so kind. They sent me this bracelet. And I did put photos of me wearing these over on my Disney and Detail Instagram. So head over and check those out. But this is so cute. It's got like a bead with a little gelatoni on it, which is... Um, gelatoni is part of the duffy family this is the princess bracelet it's got the little mickey thumbs up and a little princess dress like an aurora dress on there and some little mini things and then they sent me this ring i've just put it on my thumb so you can see it's got like you know, it's not focusing very well it's got mickey heads and they alternate which way up they are there we go you can kind of see it there so I love that. People were loving this on Instagram. And this is the little bag that things come in. And they also sent me this bracelet. Let me put it against the 
black then you'll probably be able to see it a bit better like i was saying i do have photos up over on instagram so this one has mickey you've got characters in the little cars there you've got these heart ones then you've got mini there on the end whoops she doesn't want to turn over the right way and then you've got this um little chain thing so when you're wearing it basically the beads don't slide from side to side and if you are interested in any of their items i will link them below and i also have a discount code to get 20 percent off which is victoria in detail but i'll put that below as well hey guys back again already it was only like 10 minutes ago that i was talking to you about uh making tea whatever i was doing um i'm stressing out a little bit and because ian isn't here um i'm gonna have to stress out to you guys because there's nobody else here i have been getting some pain today in the exact spot so i don't know if you can see it here um in the side um just like where my rib cage is that is where my tm when i in initially got the attack of it uh, that's where it started that's where the pain started and every now and again it's been what has it been like 18 months now or something since it happened i will sometimes get pain there but i've been noticing it quite a lot today and it just stresses me out it panics me and i try not to let it but when you've had quite a serious medical thing happen it does give you anxiety about something else serious happening whether it's a repeat of the same thing or whether you think oh maybe there's something else going on getting this pain in my side is just stressing me because it's in that spot so you do think oh my god what's going on it's probably nothing it's it's like 99 percent nothing because i did have an incident how long ago was it now you guys probably remember from the vlog if you've been watching for a while where i actually went back to a e because i was convinced that something was happening again and it wasn't it's just a very up and down condition that never really goes away and it does give you very confusing signals sometimes and yeah it's just you have good good days and bad days and i'm sure like i felt a bit dodgy this last week so i think it's probably just you know a bad week but it does like panic me and i really try not to i'm not that kind of person who's like constantly stressing about things like that but sometimes i do just think oh god because it was so traumatic when it happened and it's been so life-altering that you just think oh my gosh please no i can't <laughs> go through that again so i guess it just puts me a little bit on edge but i feel better already from having told you guys about it so Hopefully it will be fine. I will update you in a bit. Later. I think it's time for me to end the vlog for today. I'm going to jump in the shower, wash my hair, and um, then probably go to bed because I am feeling a little under the weather. I do wonder whether I'm getting a cold or something, which would explain why my TM feels worse and I feel really stiff and everything. I don't know, but getting sleep is definitely important if you're not feeling well. One thing that I did get delivered today that I forgot to show you. Now, it might be kind of sad that I get excited about this, but I finally managed to find Zaflora in the Lemon Zing smell, which is totally the best one. I managed to get two boxes of like the big size and I was introduced to this stuff recently. It is amazing. It's a disinfectant, but it smells really good. You can like use it everywhere. Probably not um, like food preparation sur surfaces because it is quite strong smelling, but in a good way. It's just so good. Let me know in the comments if you use the flora, but I know it's quite kind of sad that I'm excited about this one because I think it is a limited edition. It's kind of hard to get this smell and the box is scratch and sniff. How cool is that? Anyway. <laughs> I think I need to get over it. It's not that exciting. And tomorrow is going to be a day of filming. I've got several videos that I need to film. So hopefully I can be up and about early. That's another reason to have the shower and get to bed so that I can get up and make a good start. Because on days when you're filming, by the time you kind of get yourself ready, get everything set up, do the actual filming and then start on editing some of it, the whole day can just kind of get away from you. So yeah, that is what is up tomorrow. I will see you guys in the morning. Hello and happy Tuesday. A bit of a later start to the vlog today. I've been filming all morning. Um, getting loads done which is really good and i already did some editing and things as well so it's just been go 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 and some mornings i look up and it's like 1 p.m and i think oh that's scary <laughs> so i'm gonna get on with some more things that i need to do but i do need to eat something and i think i might have i started these yesterday the uh tortilla strips but i only have a few at a time because i don't think they're especially healthy probably not 
no uh, so i just have a few with them with some really light philadelphia i just like dip them but they're super nice so i think i will have that and later today i just need to get some more editing done i've got a disneyland paris vlog that is halfway done and on wednesday i have a video that i'm a tiny bit nervous about coming out on my disney detail channel i don't really know why i'm nervous about it but i am hopefully people will respond well to it and um actually i can tell you what it is because this is after the fact. So I'm starting a Patreon page for my Disney in Detail channel. Um, Patreon is a place basically where people can pledge their support to um, creators, whether it's YouTube, musicians, artists, and you pledge a monthly amount, which obviously helps that creator create future content, but you also get rewards depending on how much it is you're doing. So it's just something I've always kind of shied away from, but people have been asking to um help and support how do we help do you have patreon so i thought it was time to do something but yeah i just feel a bit kind of like nervous i hope people respond well and realize that it's not like a cash grab or anything it genuinely is to help creators create content but anyway that is what is up today also if anyone else has fine hair please tell me the day that you have washed your hair or you maybe washed it the night before like the first day of clean hair mine is always messier than any other day it seriously just won't behave if i straighten it it goes like floopy and crazy please let me know does anyone else find their hair is at its worst when you've just washed it because mine definitely is so I'm just doing my editing and the tripod and everything is still there from earlier and I have just realised that Apollo 13, which is my favourite movie, is on Netflix. So that is my background noise while I do my editing and I'm currently editing Disneyland Paris episode 3 so you guys will have only seen one? No, you might have seen two by now. And like I said before, I'm just trying to get ahead on these. Oh, I think I can hear Ian emerging. Oh, yawning. Oh dear. Has it been one of those kind of days? Yeah. I am just about to make dinner. It's 6.23 or 25 or something. I did not realise how late it was and we're having fajitas tonight. Am I, am I blurry? Mm, I... No, I think you're good. Should I come in here? You're good. You can. <laughs> and I might see if Ian wants to cut the chicken because... It grosses me out. Does anyone else hate cutting up? Like the texture of really, raw chicken is so really gross. I don't really like it. No, but I get actually a bit grossed out and then I have mm. to eat it. So maybe you could cut the chicken and I'll okay. do everything else. Maybe I can do that. Yeah. Am I allowed a glass of wine if I cut up the chicken? Mm, maybe. Mm, check you out on a Tuesday. And how was your day? Yeah, fine. Mm. Just working. There's lots of stuff going on with my Netrunner side project at the moment. It's very exciting. Yes. We put our first set of cards on sale last night. Mm. It's going very well, so we're all very pleased. Excellent. And yeah, I've just been on my lunch. I was planning more Netrunner trips, so... Yes, yes. he does a lot of trips, if you hadn't noticed. Where of are driving. we going at Easter? We're looking at going to Edinburgh. But that's mainly for us to have a nice weekend in Edinburgh. Is it though? Or is it for you to play Netrunner and then I mean, we're going okay, to... okay, look, it might happen to coincide with a Netrunner tournament on the Saturday, but it's a long weekend, so mm. we can we can hang out in Edinburgh. Mm. You like Edinburgh, you've been before, I do, right? I love Edinburgh. I I've went... never been. I've never been to Scotland. Oh, so. so good. I went on a hen weekend very oh, many years ago that's when you break your shoes isn't it and you're sad <sighs> yes little story <laughs> i went to so this would have been 2005 and went on a hen weekend and i had bought a pair of jimmy choo shoes when i was in new york i would never spend that much on a pair Balling of shoes out of control well it was a one-off <laughs> i've never i've never since and i never would pay that much for a pair of shoes but i did i went crazy and um edinburgh has a lot of cobbled streets and we're going along and my heel went down um, one of the cobbles and scuffed like the, the leather on the, the heel, it actually like made a hole in it. And I cried actual tears in this bar. This really nice guy was trying to like fix it for me because he was just like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? So yeah, that was really tragic. Moral of the story, don't spend that much money on shoes because they can get ruined very easily. It's a true story. Yeah, anyway, but he does. Okay. Ugh, onions. I hate that. Mm. 
There we go. Fajita time. Ian loves his fajitas. Six hours later. So it was way later now. I think the last thing you saw, we were just about to eat fajitas, which were really nice actually. Um, we watched a bit of TV and then Ian had to go and do some stuff in his office and I have been editing and then realised what the time is. Um, but I did really want to get it done for tomorrow and just uploaded, so that's fine. And I'm feeling super sleepy now and I don't know what's going on with my makeup today. I'm using the same stuff that I always do, but it's kind of breaking up a little bit like going a bit funny and I honestly think it's that my skin feels oily so I don't know what's going on but I've obviously got super oily skin at the minute which is not good and I just realized I've got lipstick all over my mouth probably from eating fajitas. Tomorrow I think I will film my day in the life video so I probably won't vlog in addition to that because obviously it'll just be repeated footage then when you watch the vlog on Monday so I'll be back with this vlog on Thursday. Is that possible? How is this week going so quickly? Yeah, that is right. Oh my gosh. Good morning and happy Friday. Good afternoon, I should say. My friend Claire's just been around this morning and I filmed a video first thing, so that was quite good. Got that done, then saw Claire and now I'm about to edit that video. And I've had quite a few things I've ordered delivered this morning, so as soon as I'm done with this, I will show you. And yeah, just having a pretty good normal friday all good i'm feeling a lot better i think in hindsight i have been feeling under the weather since i got back from sorry i don't know what my hair's doing here um since i got back from birmingham i felt a bit dodgy i think i might have had like a little stomach bug or something like i said it's hard to tell with my tm you just generally feel a bit worse so i think something might have been going on but i do feel loads better today which is really good but i need to get this editing done get a bit of tidying and stuff done and ian's got a few errands he needs to do after work we missed a parcel the other day and stuff like that and then I don't know. I don't know what we're doing this evening. Ian's away this weekend doing more Netrunner stuff, obviously. So I'm just waiting for a video to export and I've had quite a few deliveries this morning of stuff. So let's just take a look, I think. So this is from Amazon. Um, yeah, that is my new fairy lights to go on my desk because my other ones have broken. So I definitely will be putting those up tomorrow. Then I've got my new Javianas. This is another pair of the Luna Javianas, which I already have in black, but these are the rose gold color. And this is them. There's actually two which are called rose gold or rose gold nude is the other one, but those have actually got pink bottoms and I didn't want that. These ones will be perfect to go with anything light colored I have because the black ones obviously don't go with everything. But these sandals are so comfortable. I always get mine from Amazon because they're slightly cheaper than the Javianas website. I will link them below if you're interested in taking a look but for walking around Florida I can walk around in these all day every day and they are just so comfy sometimes when you first wear them I have had this bit just kind of pokes into your foot the tiniest bit but literally the first or second time after wearing them it doesn't do it so just make sure you wear them in before you go off on your vacation and the final thing is from boots i can't show you most of it because it's gifts for people but i do have three things here from soap and glory and i got a really good deal all three of these products and their full size were 15 pounds which is so crazy because i'm pretty sure one of these was like 13 by itself so anyway i had to snap that up and this is from for helping it get toned up a little bit not toned up obviously you have to work out for that but like help you the appearance of your skin let's say before i go to florida so i've got uptoned girl body lotion i've used that before and i really like that and then there's armageddon <laughs> i love the names of this stuff and this is just for kind of like smoothing the tops of your arms and then sit tight which is supposed to be for kind of saddlebags and stubborn um, areas on your thighs so I'm definitely going to be using these over the next couple of months. This thing is driving me crazy. This is the video that should have gone up on Thursday. Obviously today is Friday and it still is taking ages to export it is driving me insane. So it's now gonna end up going up on Saturday along with the Disney detail vlog over on the other channel, but there you go, what can you do? I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about this laptop, but like I've said before, I just can't be without it. It is so annoying. I think I am gonna have to take it to an Apple store, which will mean going to either Exeter or Bristol for me. So I'm going to have to figure out when I can do that. Ugh. 
so annoying. But anyway, it is that is one of those things. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get like livid about it because I've already done that enough this week. And Becky is just on her way over. It's 10 p.m. She's only just finished work, but she has got something that I don't know if I told you this. I ordered something from Etsy from uh, Catnip, Catherine's Etsy store, and I accidentally sent it to my old address, which is now Becky's address. So um, thankfully, obviously she lives there, so she was able to grab it for me, because if someone else lived there, that would be super annoying. Um, I don't know how I did it, I always check, but obviously I didn't on this occasion, so she's just gonna drop that over. It's just some cute washi tapes that Catherine has recently come out with as a new product. So yeah, Becky's gonna nip in. I doubt she'll probably just due to the time, she may not stay for very long, if at all. Uh, but I might get her to say hi if she does. And other than that, I'm just waiting for this blimmin' thing to <laughs> export. And then, I don't know, maybe go to bed. Ian is off to, where's he going tomorrow? Bristol tomorrow, but I think he's staying in Bristol or near Bristol. I think, um, because he's going to Sheffield on Sunday. So he is just like, here, there and everywhere with his net runner. Good afternoon. Yes, afternoon. Don't tell me any of you are surprised. It is Saturday and I am feeling a little sleepy today. I went to bed at 2 a.m. I then woke up at, I think about six or seven and kind of got up when Ian left at eight. So I haven't had a lot of sleep. I'm feeling a little bit tired. <laughs> Ian is away for the weekend. So I've just been kind of hanging out here, trying to sort out some stuff. I've been trying to export a vlog for the longest time and it is just not happening. It's taking hours on end. So we've decided in terms of what we're gonna do about the laptop. Ian has got, a he's taken some advice from some people he knows. He's got a couple of things to try. And if that doesn't work, I do have it insured. I bought it through Argos actually. So um, we took out the extra Extra insurance that you pay monthly for and the thing to do in the first instance you have to call them and they will like take you through some troubleshooting I guess which Ian will do for me because I wouldn't have the patience for that on the phone I would end up just getting annoyed because I'm useless for stuff like that so we're gonna do that on probably on Monday because Ian is away probably till quite late on Sunday so that is that in the meantime I've just got to put up with it being a bit useless and I was thinking about going out today and just doing a couple of errands and going back to my favorite coffee shop where they let the dogs in and I can just hang out with some dogs but um, I'm gonna do that tomorrow I think because today I can just get everything done all these things all these like random things I need to do around the house and then tomorrow I can just kind of head out and not be worrying about stuff that I should be doing and I totally forgot to get Becky to say hi she did come around last night to drop off my Etsy order that I accidentally sent to my old address and uh, we did have a quick cup of tea but it's quite late she finished work at 10 and it was like probably near enough half 10 when she got here so oh hi hair um so I totally forgot to get her to say hi but hi Becky if you're watching and the things she was dropping off were my new washi tapes these are from Catherine's Etsy store um, called catnip which I've mentioned before it is not focusing hello hi there we go so this one is gingy and spice which is so cute and I got two of these because I'm just a little bit obsessed with gingy and then this is pudding dog I think is his name is it pudding dog oh my goodness I'm probably getting that wrong um but so cute he's wrapped up in a little parcel so I got one of those as well these are to use in my planner and just kind of wherever really but I just basically love them they're so cute I had to get some so it's a bit later on I'm just sitting down to have a cup of tea and a biscuit I'm having my lotus biscoff biscuits that I was talking about in my uh, poundland haul but I have had a little panic because I'm a little bit obsessed with them and I've had a few of them and then I was like, oh my gosh, are they calorific? There's only 37 calories in each biscuit and there's two in a little packet. So that's okay. I haven't had loads, but I was just thinking, oh, better be careful there, but they're so delicious. They're really Moorish. So I'm just gonna have a couple of those. And I just got done with a bunch of research for gifts. We've got a lot of um, family gifts to buy coming up you know birthdays and different things so I've just been doing that and uh, yeah all done I tend to sorry I've just switched something on on the tv oh. I tend to do a lot of that because Ian is really good at finding certain things so if there's like a certain item we're looking for he'll google it and you know compare prices and stuff but when it comes to actually making a decision 
I'm better at doing that. So <laughs> he's away this weekend anyway. And still waiting for the vlog. This is honestly ridiculous. This 40 minute vlog has taken about seven hours to export. To put that into some perspective, that would normally take about 15 minutes. So this MacBook, he's sick. It's really sad. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, it's definitely not right. And the weirdest thing is that it did fix itself for about seven days. It just went totally back to normal, worked completely fine. Oh, message. Uh, and now I, I, I just don't know. I don't know. How do you be like this and then fine and then like this again i don't know it's driving me insane i need to not think about it because it's making me a bit crazy i think okay it's way later now it's like 7 p.m and i'm just gathering my stuff for a bit of a pamper evening i'm going to redo my nails because i find if i don't do them often enough they start snapping and just going really horrible so i've got all my nail things this bag i really like it came with a real techniques set that i got for christmas it's got like the sparklies kind of inside the plastic i really love that and and I've just got my Nail Envy, which is amazing. And I always use to kind of grow my nails. They have started to grow again, but they look really gross and they're not focusing, which is probably a good thing. And I'm also going to do a face mask. These are my Tony Moly ones that um, came from South Korea. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And I got most of my little kind of tasks and things done that I needed to do. There were a few more, but the uh, laptop is on a timeout because <laughs> it was just really annoying me. So I actually shut it down properly and just kind of put it away for a bit and i need to make some dinner but whenever ian's not here i always think oh i just can't be bothered um what should i have do i have anything do i have like a jacket potato but i just i don't really want that so i don't know maybe i'll just have like some pasta or something that might be quite nice so cooking has commenced i've got some green veggies in here i've got broccoli leek and peas then i'm just making some pasta and to put on the pasta, I've just put some extra light Philadelphia and mixed it with one of these little pesto pots. They're really handy because you don't have to open a whole jar and then have it go bad because I don't use it very often. So yeah, hopefully this will be really good. And there we have it, pretty basic, but just what I felt like. Okay, my idea of not going to bed too late has not panned out. It's like 12.30, so I'm gonna go in a minute. And I've just been, doing a few different bits and pieces i did some wrapping i think i said i was gonna do that I've just been doing some stuff in my planner writing a little to-do list for tomorrow because i've got a few things to do in the morning and i'll probably take my planner with me to the coffee shop and do a few things in there so yeah it's been a really chilled day today i really haven't done well actually i have done a lot but i haven't been out and about and done things it's just been like a home day relaxed day and with my nails i got as far as taking off the old polish putting on my nail envy but i haven't painted them yet because if i paint them too close to going to bed you get like marks in them from the bedding like little you know what i mean like little texture marks so i'll paint them in the morning and obviously it's saturday so i put up a disney vlog earlier today it was disneyland paris and somebody commented a few hours um later saying oh my gosh there's all this panic in disneyland paris Paris. I was like what what is going on and as soon as I looked it up whatever it was that had happened was obviously like it had just happened so there were all these news reports like um potential terrorist threat people are like running around and screaming and hearing like gunshots or something I was like oh my gosh what on earth is going on and um, there was all kinds of like rumors swirling around it turns out what had happened there was a faulty elevator um, I don't know if it had collapsed or it was faulty or whatever had happened, but it started making really loud noises. This is in the train station, which is right outside the entrance to like both the parks. And uh, yeah, these really loud noises. And I was trying to imagine what a faulty escalator would sound like. And I guess basically people thought it was gunshots or an explosion or something. So what evidently happened is those people in the station freaked out, people like running and screaming, obviously that filtered out side of the station, then other people start running and screaming. And then in a minute, it was like a full on panic, chaos. Everybody thought like something absolutely insane was happening and that's what it was. Not that I'm blaming people for like overreacting, but one of um, the people who follow me on Twitter, cause I posted something on Twitter at first, I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And they commented and said, it's such a shame that we live in a world where everyone is so on edge. And that is so true because you know, 
clearly everyone's immediate thought when they heard that was that something crazy was going on and um it was like gunfire and you know it's just a real shame that, that that's the case people just immediately panic and think that something terrible is happening obviously it's because things have um in recent years but yeah it's just kind of crazy really but i think it got controlled pretty quick um people realized that nothing was going on that people needed to be worried about there was no situation um no one was in danger or anything like that so thank goodness everybody's fine everything is fine and there was never any question of um you know a threat or anything going on it was just a a misunderstanding so yeah that was kind of weird anyway i'm just rambling at this point so i will see you guys in the morning good morning and happy sunday so the other day i was talking to my friend claire and we were discussing how the weather affects your mood and i've never really noticed it before but as you know i've had like a bit of a just kind of weird couple of weeks and the weather has been horrible it's been gray raining some of the time but mainly just gray this morning i've woken up and it is absolutely amazing it is sunny i don't even know if i'm going to need a jacket when i go out and i do feel so much better i really do think i'm quite, like my mood is sometimes quite affected by the weather um, i'm someone who's always positive i'm never like miserable or anything like that but yeah it definitely makes you feel happier when the weather is like this so i'm gonna head into town to my favorite coffee shop gotta make a stop there and I just want to do a couple of other errands there's a few things that I need for Florida so I thought I would just go in and have a look and Ian should be back quite a bit later tonight I would imagine because he is all the way in Sheffield and he's doing something all day so I'll probably sort out my own dinner don't know what I'll have and yeah just feeling good and cannot wait to get outside okay I'm now actually ready to go and I just um, looked in the bathroom mirror and realized I had lipstick on my teeth so may have had lipstick on my teeth when I was just talking to you. Eventually. So I pretty much entirely failed to vlog today, which I'm really sorry. Um, I went out, uh, just went to my favorite coffee shop and just grabbed a couple of things I needed on the way home. And since then I've just been trying to import the footage for this vlog. Um, today's Sunday, it's going up tomorrow. And I like to start editing it on Sunday, just so that I don't have the whole thing to do on Monday. And I do have a couple of new purchases to show you. So I got this number six, mm, I think might be ripping someone off almost there um anti-aging eye cream this was from poundland and i thought to myself well i've got to try it if it's a pound and it works then happy day so i will let you know how i get on with that also from poundland i got this beauty pump and it's one of those where you put the liquid in and kind of press your cotton pad on the top and it just like pumps it up and I wanted it for my micella water. I'm not really <laughs> loving the quote, um, but that's the only one they had had that on it. They always have them in nail salons for the nail polish remover, but yeah, I just thought that'd be really good for my micella water. And finally, with all the trouble I've been having with sleeping, I've got this from Feather and Down, I think is the brand. There's a little roll-on oil that says you have to massage it into your pulse points before bed, and then there is also a pillow spray. So I'm gonna give this a go, see if it has any effect, and again, I will let you know. And Ian's on his way home, he will be back about 8 p.m. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. He's been away all weekend and we'll probably just watch a bit more of our latest Netflix thing, which is Hinterland. Oh, look as if I've been asleep and I haven't. <laughs> it is way later on now and we've just had some dinner and Ian is back from his little trip. Hello, in my chair. He's in usual. the chair again. You've been oh. away all weekend, haven't you? Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, I think I we're going to go. a minute ago. Yeah, we were watching Hinterland, but I think you didn't miss any. Oh dear, mm. you didn't miss any of the most important. I don't think I missed the important. crucial things. We watched. It was the season finale. It was a good it? one, wasn't it? It was a good one. Yeah. Before. Say bye to everyone because it's the end of the vlog. This is the end of the vlog. Bye everyone. Yeah. And I am gonna go too, I think, because I've already started editing this week's vlog, and it seems quite long already. So um, it's probably just me rambling a whole lot, which is basically what my ve uh, weekly vlogs are. <laughs> Apparently I'm quite tired too, so I'm definitely gonna go now. Again, like I was saying earlier in the vlog, thank you so much to any of you who have signed up to my Patreon. I really appreciate it and it does help to kind of you know make new content for the channel and do different things and I just appreciate it a whole bunch so thank you and if you are interested I will link it below as always thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great Monday and I will see you next week bye